wow. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty much all she said for about 15 minutes when we first walked into the courtyard. My reaction was, no, students do not live in places like this. And she decided to tell me how spoiled I was to be going to a, such a nice hall, which I kind of agree with her. When I first came here, I thought this was like a hotel, like a five-star hotel. <laughs> yeah, that'll be Laura. <laughs> You only know it's a university accommodation because it's in the middle of the campus. But if you drove on the side of the road, like you'd be like, wow, that's a really nice apartment. I wonder how much you're going to have to pay to stay in there. When we get to the room, wow, it's quite different, a bit of luxury for students. Huh? We both sort of had the same reaction. It was like, wow, oh my gosh. So there was lots of, you know, sending photos around. Like, oh, look at this amazing place my daughter lives at. Coming from Warrnambool to Melbourne, I was thinking about off-campus accommodation, but I thought it'd probably be better to live on campus with a hall where I could meet a lot more people, which is why I decided to move to Briggs Hall. His uh, previous uh, residency reminded us uh, about our old style student hostels where you have like a lot of little rooms uh, uh, like little cages. <laughs> Having your own bathroom and your own kitchens really makes a difference. They sort of feel more like uh, living in a little apartment rather than living uh, on res. There's this amazing room with this huge screen. You know, everything is neat, trim, proper, provided. All the amenities are, probably, you know, I think first class. They have beautiful black splashbacks in their kitchen, for goodness sake. The issues for young people with no rent record, to get a rental property is not easy to do. So it's opened the door to students who normally would find it really hard to find somewhere to live. For accommodation uh, privately, uh, usually it doesn't include uh, bills for electricity and uh, you know gas bills, water and so forth. We calculated that the internet was included, all the electricity and water is included, plus free parking. Briggs Hall, they pay a certain amount and we know that this is how much you need to, to pay, so you basically can uh, quite easily estimate how much money you'll require per year. Very easy to do the payments, um, the way they've got it all set up is fabulous. We think we've got value for money. Uh, I think with this environment it will also help them, you know, uh, in their study. That's, that's how we see it. It's really good to be able to sort of jump out of bed and go straight to work, especially when I have an assignment that's overdue. If you're in a social sort of mood, there's plenty of opportunities for that as well. And when I really want to have some fun with my friends, well, I would just go down the floor, walk up the stairs, knock on some doors, hey, do you want a game of soccer? Because the halls have common rooms and games rooms and everything as well, I can come down here and hang out with people. The games room is a great place just to um, you know, go with your friends, have a game of pool or table tennis, um, you know, take a break from your study or whatever. You get wing kitchens, so if you don't want to cook in your own room, you can just go to the wing kitchen and it's a communal sort of thing. There's quite a daunting prospect of my only child living so far away from home. For people coming into Melbourne who haven't been to Melbourne before, it's set up in a way that would make it easy for them. You don't have to do that terrifying, you know, where do I find a train station or a bus station or get myself around, because it's all nearby and within the hall itself you've got everything you need. For us, a uh, big brass point, peace of mind, you know. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we were very happy, so cannot ask for more. Right? And my friends, when they come here, they absolutely love it here. I say, oh, do you want me to come over and um, see you at Halls? And they're like, no, I'll come to your place. Your place is nicer. Probably the closest thing you get to, to home, but yeah, not having your parents, I guess. So the fun part, without the strictness. I kind of want to stay for the rest of my degree because it is, it's just a really nice spot. You know, it's sort of my own little apartment within 300 other little apartments. If we are the experiment, for the rest of Australian universities, I really think they need to put the tick in the box and go ahead and um, build more of these residences.